Big Nitty Run the City, no cap rap news, man. We back with another review. Um, this is my first time listening to this shit. I just got through listening to the whole full album, The Death of Slim Shady, new Eminem album just dropped, bro. Uh, I'm going to keep it funky with y'all, man. This shit was not for me, bro. I ain't going to lie. This shit was horrible, my nigga. I'm going to keep it funky, bro. These other niggas finna get on here and lie to you. Skip this bullshit, bro. Okay? Skip that bullshit, man. This shit is trash. I tried to listen to it. It's 19 songs. I skimped through it. If you want to look at the full review or me listening to it, live reaction, I'll put it up on my um, channel soon. But I'm going to be 100 with y'all niggas. I don't know who this shit for, man. It's a bunch of gay jokes that I don't fuck with. It's a bunch of... Trans jokes is a bunch of midget jokes. It's a bunch. It sound like some old man, forty-five year old shit for a forty-five year old white guy. That's that's it. This the album. Two songs. It's just like a first first hold up. It's like a remake of all the old shit, bro. It sound like it's two thousand and three or some shit or whenever this shit came out, bro. Whenever them them other Slim Shady albums came out, it sound like that, my nigga. Now I don't see no. I don't see no uh, ele- evolution in this shit, bro. It's the same old shit, man. The beats suck. The beats are horrible. I've been seeing niggas on there dick riding saying that the beats was dope. This shit was not dope, bro. It sound like the same old Slim Shady bullshit. I think he made them beats. If he didn't, he need to give us some new younger producers. Some um, switch the flow up. It's bad flow. The same sick flow. All the same dumb shit, bro. I mean, I don't. It wasn't nothing new that that made me stand out and be like, "Whoa, this shit was hard. That was dope." The standout on this shit to me was JID when he did his verse on one of these songs. This shit just was not for me. I tried my best, bro, to give it an open ear, but this shit is whack, my nigga. Just your facts, my nigga. I don't see why niggas be saying that this the best rapper, the greatest rapper. I don't see it. He didn't prove it tonight. Not with this shit, bro. I mean, I'm just keeping it one. I got to keep it real because I know these other niggas on here ain't going to do it, fam. I know they ain't. Because they don't, they don't want the backlash from, from his fans or whoever, you know, saying whatever about him. I don't care nothing about it. I'm just going to keep it real, bro. This shit is not for... Black niggas ain't listening to this shit. These young niggas ain't finna play this shit, bro. Nah. Nope, 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 nope. I don't see who this shit is for besides Eminem himself. They could have kept this shit on the hard drive, my nigga. That's a money grab. It's it's just like I said, it's a replay of shit he already did. He got two songs on there dedicated to his daughter. Sound like a remake of Mockingbird. And he got another song. The last, very last song was was cool because um, I kind of liked the vibe, and he was he was saying sorry for not being there. To um, his daughter and to other people and whatnot, and that was a dope song. That was a cooler vibe and shit. Still with my cup of tea, cause I know what I know the formula, the commercial song. You know what I'm saying with the person singing on the hook and shit, man. I didn't hear no. Like I said, the flows was was whack on this shit, my nigga. The the the, the, the topics and the you know the the ideas. Yeah, you can rap syllables and rhyme syllables and shit. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we're nothing new, bro. This is this is like a. It's just like a rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat shit, man. All this shit sounded these whack ass corny beats with the little pianos and it. It's just it just man, this shit was trash, my nigga. I ain't even finna go long on this shit, bro. This is made for Eminem core fans. They gonna love it. Now they gonna love it. But he ain't gaining no new stand, no um, new listeners off of this shit. The new, 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 new kids they ain't finna be bumping this shit, my nigga. This is just pure nostalgia. If you into that old shit like that, he ain't. It gotta elevate, my nigga. It can't steady be the same. And then I see what Lord Jamal then was talking about, bro. Like niggas ain't bumping this shit. This shit ain't finna be played in no Negro club at all. I had to say Negro and colored and shit because this shit ain't for us, my nigga. I don't know who this shit for, but it ain't for me. And that's just my reaction first off a of first listen and it's gonna be my last time listening to this bullshit because this shit is trash, bro. I get this shit a 3 out of 10 at the most and that might be too high, honestly. That might be fucking too high. 
But like I said, it's core fans gonna eat this shit up. But I ain't fucking with it, bro. That's for real, man. No cap rap news, bro. Tig need to run the city. Peace, peace, peace.